Dear students of grade 11 and 12, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How are you all? Hope everybody is fine. Today I am going to start remaining portion of exercise 3E from geometry section. Students, last class I have discussed all the necessary formulas related to this chapter and some mathematical problem I have solved today I am going to start from 3a the equation four equations given x minus y y minus 5 x plus 3 y plus 2 represents four sides of a quadrilateral find the equation of the two diagonals of the quadrilateral so we, first of all we should you can draw the quadrilateral you can draw the quadrilateral like this I am writing here a b c d four vertices of quadrilateral now the equations x minus 4 equal to 0 we can write here x minus 4 equal to 0 a b y minus 5 equal to 0 is bc y plus 2 equal to no this is x plus 3 equal to 0 last one y plus 2 equal to 0 if you draw a vertically y axis and this is the x axis then easily you can write the this is equation 1 this is equation 2 this is equation 3 and this is equation 4 so you can write here let a b c d is a quadrilateral quadrilateral or sides a b b c c d and d a yeah. what's that say both sides are and the equation the equations of these four sides are x minus 4 equal to the equation number 1 y minus 5 equal to the equation number 2 x plus 3 equal to the equation number 3 and y plus 2 equal to the equation number 4 students carefully look whenever this straight line a b a b x minus 4 here x equal to 4 and y minus 4 here we can write y equal to 5 y minus 5 and x plus 3 that means x equal to minus 3 minus 3 because here x plus 3 equal to 0 and last one y equal to y equal to minus 2 so 4 equations easily you can write x equal to 4 y equal to 5 so intercepting line of a b and b c is b the equation the coordinates of b is 4 5 coordinate of c is x equal to minus 3 so minus 3 5 coordinates of d is minus 3 minus 2 it is third coordinate that's why coordinates negative and coordinates of a the vertices a is x equal to 4 and minus 2 this is the four vertices we got so in a short form you can write here a is a is 4 minus 2 because we are going to find out the coordinate of sc so a is this and and c is c is minus 3 5 minus 3 5 and
equation so the equation of diagonal AC is x minus this one is the x1 y1 and x2 y2 so x minus x1 x1 minus x2 minus 3 it will be plus y minus y1 since here is minus 2 so it will be plus and my y1 minus y2 5 and x minus 4 by 7 equal to y plus 2 by minus 7 both side denominator minus 7 cancelled so finally we get minus y plus 2 or x minus 5 minus goes to left side so it will be y plus 2 equal to 0 now x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 this is the diagonal of sc we got another one another one what is the diagonal of bd so we got from here b is 4 5 b is 4 5 and d is minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 so the diagonal the equation of diagonal bd diagonal bd is the equation of diagonal bd is x minus x1 x1 minus x2 y minus y1 y1 minus y2 here minus 2 that's a plus 2 so x minus 4 equal to y minus 5 we can write because 4 plus 3 7 right side denominator 7 cancel so x minus y minus 4 plus 5 or x minus y plus 1 equal to 0 another equation of diagonal bd already we got so finally we got the equation of diagonal s e and bd students look another one if 3x plus root 3y plus 2 equal to 0 another two equation x cos alpha and y sin alpha equal to p represent the same straight line find the value of p here p is a constant so given this equation and this equation represent represent the same equation it's uh, represent the same same equation of straight line equation of straight line so the coefficient of x and y and constant will be proportional suppose here the coefficient of x is cos alpha so x cos alpha their coefficient of x is 3 so coefficient of x and coefficient of y root 3 here root 3 equal to minus p by 2 constant also will be the proportional clear now cos alpha by 3 equal to minus p by 2 and sin alpha by root 3 equal to minus p by 2 two relation we got cross multiply 2 cos alpha equal to minus 3p or 4 cos square alpha equal to both sides squaring 9p square or cos square alpha equal to 9p square by 4 equation number 1 you can let and here same case sin square alpha equal to root 3 square 3 minus p square p square p by 4 equation number 2 adding both equation again equation 1 and 2 we get we get cos square alpha plus 
sin square alpha equal to 9p square by 4 plus 3p square by 4 from trigonometry you know sin square alpha plus cos square alpha equal to what 1 and right side make LCM okay 9p square 3p square 12p square because since we are going to find out the value of p so p will be left side p square equal to 4 by 12 after cancellation it will be one third so p equal to plus minus 1 by root over of 1 3 is the solution of p